Now you can't see it, but I'm pinching myself. Not that I have some compulsive disorder, just to see if this is really happening or if it's just a figment of my wild imagination. Haven't snapped into a gasping wake, so I guess I'm still in reality. But if what I'm looking at in this bag is what I think it is, then reality is just shit itself. Some people slave a nine to five to make ends meet, and some people were born with silver spoons in their mouths. As for myself, I dabble in crime fiction. Probably brought on from a beyond fucked up childhood. You trying to set fire to your notebook there? How did you think I could generate enough friction using my pen to set fire to my notebook? That would be Nigel. We go back farther than anyone knows. Three simple words, why can't you say it back? This bitch-dependent individual screaming his lungs out into the phone would soon. be Calvin. Not much to say about him. He's weird. Dude, I know this isn't even my place. No, it's not. So. The pillow's a bitch, I'm just saying. Bitch is an understatement. It's more like a raging thunder coming. That's the love of my life we're talking about. Sure, she's a little feisty, but that woman's got one of the sweetest hearts God ever created. Sweetest heart God ever created? What are you, a fucking Nicholas Sparks novel? You guys real close and ask for that tip, huh? And Mel, fuck Nicholas Sparks. What are you doing here? Here. What is this? It's a box. What else could it be? What's going on? Breaking up with you. Thank you for your input, Mel, but I'm 100% sure that she's... Honey? So at about 8 in the morning, we got a call I've been waiting seven weeks in utter fucking anticipation for. Richard W. Goldstein, a UCLA-educated English doctorate and head agent of the Goldstein Adams, an agency that has been on my radar for two years. And following my chance encounter with him at a halal track, I gave my 30 second pitch that got me a meeting at. 8.30? Yeah, that works for me. So I, I just take the six train down to 23rd Street, right? Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs> Red or white? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not too big on mine. Today is a new day, and I will be master of my domain. Own it. Better yet, pound it. What are you talking about? No one. I had an epiphany, you know. If she wants to end the relationship, well, you know what I say to that? Fuck that ship. Fuck that right in the face. You see this foot? Yeah. I'm gonna put it. it down. What are you talking about? I'm gonna put it down. My foot. I'm gonna put my foot down. Clearly, you've never heard the saying. Pussy's been here long before you're born, and it's still gonna be there long after you're gone. You think this shit is solely about pussy? This shit goes far beyond pussy. I shall have to admit, her pussy's out of this fucking world. It's like a mecca of warmth and wetness. But that's not the point. The point is, I dedicated time I dedicated heart, emotion, feeling. So are you insinuating that she somehow owes you because of what you invested in her? Yes, goddammit. I think I at least deserve that. I treated her nice and I'm a deserving guy. Then why don't you forget about that fucking bitch and go find yourself a deserving girl? Mel, when you look at me, what do you see? Puffy-eyed white guy sitting at my kitchen table wearing Nigel's shirt. What? Why are you wearing Nigel? You know what? Not important. What's going on going to that session thing tonight anyway? They're going to pitch to practice. What session? Oh, I'm talking about therapist shit that Nigel's been talking about for like the past month. That's today? Yeah. Hey, Nigel, that thing is today? Yep, and no, you're not backing out of this. I already paid for the tickets and they're very expensive. And I might help you get over payola. You know, it's a win win.
I still don't get the point of this hypno magic bullshit. It's all fucking shit. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this hypno magic shit will get you to shut the fuck up. I know it's pranks, let's be wary of the creeps, but come on, Edna's a pretty cool person, and I consider myself a pretty good judge of character. Remember that homeless guy wanted for the apple? He was cool, he didn't sodomize me on part of my apple, I hate that bullshit. Okay, so see, then I get away from you, and you somehow wind up in the midst of junkie method dealers. Junkie method dealers? What the fuck is this junkie When I drop off my clothes at the dry cleaners and you tell me it's gonna be done in a week, I expect it to be done in a week. Alright, fine. I'm telling you, the board of virtues, I'm a good guy. There's no time for the fucking environment. Okay. You're on the air. Hello, sweetheart. I heard that. Why should I question my integrity in my place of business? Your place of business? This is a fucking basement, man. Do you claim to be the and what's the powder coated scale doing yeah. over there, huh? Oh, None of your business is what that is. Uh, first of all, how all do right. you know that you so are I want the three of you to close your eyes, how dare you detach yourself from all reality, and find your inner is. light. Don't inner light, you know, right. I detest physical violence, but you I will punch I in the fucking face. Now, without any further interruptions, I want the three of you to close your eyes, to the public. Okay. find that calming this place, first show ever that and envision will the real Antichrist please stand up. Now I want the three of you to slowly tonight. open your eyes. Of the side, I must say you have a, an excellent what show. What is this I don't know if it was fake, Captain Just focus on the middle. My cousin had a uh, birthday party. Right and now your mind is like a sponge, absorbing all, all that it sees. I wish I was on the beach as the other guys said. For the snap of my here. fingers, you will no longer well, be yourself. What people imagine, but you know what people In actuality, you will be like right caricatures of this. Know what the Antichrist is, so you tell me. One who is not hindered by the, the fear of consequences or repercussions. One who will go to the extremes at any moment for any not reason. Not by his choosing. Just and that Jesus was not by his own choosing. That's right. Voila. And... Oh, come on! You are underestimating the power of hypnotherapy. It's just that this time, right. I don't care I am. about the world. Underestimating the magic of the chanting bullshit and all that. Releasing your inner beast and shit? If it's inner light, you definitely have shit. It doesn't matter. It's just like romance, love, and all that. All the bullshit. It's bullshit, man. It's not bullshit. Four years of psychology at Peru. In two years, it just isn't. Needless to say, Calvin's impartial stance towards hypnotherapy was rather excessive and brash. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. Got me thinking about my next book. However, I have no idea what it is. Practicing the song I wrote for Carola. Why did you write Carola's song? Because I believe the fastest way to a woman's heart is music. It's not. I'm just saying it. Practicing the closet and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been playing guitar in our closet? Yes. Darkness gives me a sense of light. So tonight was the big night, my big pitch, my one shot. Not that I haven't accomplished anything prior, did land a nice $15 an hour blogging gig which pays the rent, but this one is the real McCoy. And tonight, it's due Guys, I'm leaving. or die. How do you like the chicken? Oh, it's um, you know I haven't touched it yet to be honest. <laughs> So, um, my manuscript oh, is about- Mel, Mel, Melly, Mel. Let's not burden this lovely night with the monotony of business ethics. Just this time right now I have away from hack writers, lawyers, money-grubbing ex-wives, everybody in between. 
I like to leave this open for some connection. Tell me about yourself. I'm just gonna chime in right here. That all sounds fine, but are you gonna try to rape me at any time during this meeting? <laughs> you want me to? Hey. Um, so how and when did we get to it's over? Like, I always had an idea it was in danger, but you just straight pulled I, the plug from I that. don't have time for this. Um, can you just give me my dad's yacht keys? Uh, yeah, about that, um, uh, I... You don't have them, do you? No, that was a complete fit. Mm. Uh, but I have something better than yacht keys. I wrote you a song, baby. I don't want to hear your stupid fucking song. Just the first several notes. I was gonna hit you in like an hour and a half, just heads up. Well, I am prepared though. Did you bake these at 350 or? 320. 320, yeah. yeah. Well, perfection doesn't give you that burnt aftertaste. Well, no, I use olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. Tell me more about you. As Is it true you haven't went on a date in four years? And so, before I know it, I'm the one in handcuffs. Oh, I'm the one whose credit card was stolen. A top of the impression in the mouth. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> wait, I tell you. Love's like a double wallet, I want you, baby. Oh, I, I need to get something off my chest, Calvin. Yeah. Everything about you makes me sick. Yeah. You repulse me on a cellular level. Everything. In all reality, I hate you. I hate you. Everything about you from your, from your ugh, smug, controlling ways to your ever so rarely hard, tiny dick. Okay, it's seven and a half inches, and are we really <laughs> going to ugly the situation by two instances of erectile dysfunction? I'm just, really? I'm, I'm out of here. Like this one guy. Send me a photo of this really jacked Puerto Rican dude. Like, if I slice this guy open, he'd be fuckable. Wow. I answer the door, and it's some fucking five foot four Cambodian dude. Come on, where are you in such a rush to be? Stay here. I want to talk to you. You want to know where I'm going? Yeah. You really want to know? I asked. I'm going to see Frederick. Thank you for the flowers. You know, it's nice to see how Shivery still exists. No? Well, no. Don't. Just drop a copy of that manuscript off on my desk. We'll go into the details about it later. How's that sound now? That sounds great. Good. I'm glad to see that there's a feeling of... Excuse me. Frederick. Mm. Frederick as, a, as in my cousin, mm, Frederick. That, that one. Hurry up and shut the door. What are you fucking deaf? Close the goddamn door. Yeah, yeah, the door. Looks like your number's up, Bertie, old boy. <laughs> Save that pleading for the afterlife. There's no use for it here. So what are we taking? Uh, Vera said the heart, liver, and kidneys. No lungs? Not this time. Hand me the bus up. Because it's over. Alright, accept that, make peace with it. And hopefully this is the last little meeting of ours. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Are you crying? You know someone's fumbling around in there. You are the epitome of sad and the goddamn rumination of pathetic. Come on now, we'll pay you nice and quick. As opposed to ugly and slow. Shit. What? Look at the fucking tits on this girl. I'd motor about the shit out of those things. Oh. Oh, 
I wasn't supposed to be back with Casey till Tuesday. Who is Casey? Oh, it's my daughter. You have a daughter? I'm pretty sure I stated that in the last sentence. This, you, I'm, you, you did? I'm sorry, okay? I just didn't expect him to. Listen, I'll be right back. This is the closest we have ever been. Like, say the No, give me my fucking daughter. <laughs> Alright, let me use your bathroom real quick. Yo, who the fuck are you? I don't even think I was legally allowed to perform that technique, but yeah, I'll just uh, no, do I myself for a while. But uh, Kelvin, if you're listening, go fuck yourself. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. I can say the same. How about an ice cream in the park tomorrow? Hmm. Ice cream in the park? Alright. In that case, you got yourself a date, Mr. Winters. Ain't no maniac, right? You don't go around skinning motherfuckers and grinding on their bones and shit, right? No. Listen, seeing as how you, you know, pretty good at killing motherfuckers, you should make a pretty penny doing it. Tell you what, four grand to hit. Four grand to? You're, you're gonna give me four grand to kill somebody? Listen, everyone's got a price. So do you want this job or not? There's a lot of blood soaked into that. Moment. Shit's still legal tender. Well, technically, yeah. But... So shut the fuck up and consider this payment for a job well done. You find this a good career change? Don't contact me. I'll contact you. One second thought. Take my card. boring night. Quite eye-opening, if anything. Now you're asking, what was the first thing I've been going on and on about? Well, interesting. Maybe this is part of some organ trafficking scheme. Seems so. Those two guys in the mask could have been working for him. What's that gonna have to do with Richard? I don't know. Maybe it's my own crazy, fucked-up sense of bravado. Fucking hypnotism therapy shit's weighing on me. But I might be stumbling into something interesting. Too bad this blood on my hand's not gonna wash away. Who would have figured my life would have jumped right back into this path? Sure hope Nigel's doing a far better job than I am. So if that's not the case, then one can expect a marathon of cluster fun. Yeah, that. Uh, I can explain. I can explain that. Marathon of clusterfucks start 